Are you curious whether exporting videos on a MacBook Air is faster with or without the charger? In this video, I will compare both scenarios using a real-world video editing project in Adobe Premiere Pro. Stick around for the results and some surprising insights about the MacBook Air's performance and temperature management. I'm exporting a heavily edited video project with layers of animations, text, transitions, b-rolls, music, sound effects and more. This is not just a test with stacked 4K layers, it's a complete final project. The video is 17 minutes and 39 seconds long. While many YouTube videos test video export times with simpler setups, this test is different. It reflects real-world editing scenarios that creators like you and I deal every day. The software I'm using is Adobe Premiere Pro which I have been working with on both Windows and Mac. For this test, I'm exporting in 1080p Full HD using software encoding with VBR settings at 20 low and 40 high. Premiere Pro is optimized for M1 chipset, so let's see how it performs. First, I exported the video without plugging in the charger. The export completed in 31 minutes and 43 seconds. Now, let's talk about the temperatures. After the export, the MacBook Air reaches a peak of 42 degrees Celsius with the warmest areas being around the functional keys. The trackpad and palm rest areas stayed under 40 degrees Celsius, making it comfortable to use even under heavy loads. Thanks to its metal design, the device cooled down quickly after the task. For those who don't know, the MacBook Air has a fanless design, relying entirely on passive cooling. This design is impressive, but it also means thermal management plays a big role in its performance. After giving the MacBook a break to cool down, I repeated the export test with the charger connected. This time the export completed in 33 minutes and 35 seconds, which is almost 2 minutes longer than the first test. Temperature wise, the MacBook Air peaked at 42.9 degrees Celsius, slightly higher than in the first test. The warmest areas were the same above the function keys, while the trackpad area stayed cool below 40 degrees Celsius. So what does this mean? Surprisingly, exporting without the charger was faster in this test with a time difference of nearly 2 minutes. Why is this case? One possibility is that when plugged in, the MacBook Air's thermal throttling mechanism prioritizes temperature management over performance, as it doesn't have a fan to dissipate heat actively. This MacBook Air model has 16GB of RAM and 512GB of storage and it's a refurbished unit, meaning it's been used before. Testing on a refurbished model gives us a more realistic view of long-term performance unlike brand new devices. If you're planning to buy a MacBook Air M1 this year, this video series will help you understand its real-world performance. Check out my other videos to learn more about this popular model. What are your thoughts on this test? Did the result surprise you? Drop a comment below with your opinions and suggestions for future tests on this MacBook Air. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more honest tech reviews and comparisons. Hit the bell icon so you don't miss any upcoming videos where I will test this MacBook Air with other editing softwares and workflows.